Hello everybody. How do you do? My name's Pigeon Johnny. Well, we'll just stop right there. It's Pigeon John. It's me singing Pigeon John. He is a indie artist um, based in California, L.A., I believe, and I love his music. Play it all the time on DarkSkyRadio.com, the greatest internet radio station in the world. What's up, India? What's up? Hey, I saw a um, a uh, a film yesterday. I saw a lot of films. This, I've had I've been on a holiday weekend at work, uh, so I've been watching a lot of films, man. And today we're gonna watch Queen with the Queen, and uh, we're gonna watch uh, Stree with the Queen. But this one, I oh boy, I can't even say the Indian name for it. So I'm gonna give you the English name, uh, Truth Alone. Truth Alone. Um, Truth Alone, right? That was with John Abraham, who is a uh, very handsome, very handsome man, very good actor, should be in uh, American films, I think. I think he would cross over well. And I know there's a couple guys who like to tease me about being the gay uh, with John Abraham. Uh, whatever, dude. John Abraham is awesome, and I will not back off of it. Although he plays the same role pretty much all the time. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. So is Baj Pai. He's doing the same thing. It's like last several movies I've seen with Baj Pai, he's the same cop. And I don't I don't know. I don't know if I like Baj Pai doing the same thing because I really liked him in Gangs of Wessapur. I thought he was uh, really good in Gangs of Wessapur um, as, as, as the bad guy, you know, as one of the crooks. Um... Oh, Nick Hill. Nick Hill will have some, uh, we're working on some Thanksgiving stuff for you so you can take a look at the meal. Nick Hill is a food blogger who wanted to see some pictures. I know the Warrior Queen took some pictures for you of Thanksgiving, but I'm going to put together a video of it. Video. Anyways, so back to the, <laughs> we, I have the most convoluted movie reviews, don't I? In India, you love me and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, So here's kind of, this is going to have spoilers in it. So if you haven't seen this film, you're going to get spoilers. So what we have here is we have a series of cop killings going on. Kind of spooky, right? Series of cop killings. And um, the more you see, the more you know, right? The more you see, the more you know. And um, in these series of cop killings, what we find out are the cops who are being murdered are um, corrupt cops. Oh, kind of brings a different different play on it. And the guy who is um, the sergeant, maybe, in the American term, or the main inspector, or the head of the substation, however you want to say it, is starting to freak out because these corrupt cops are dropping, and he needs a, his best guy who's on vacation. And so quickly we find out that John Abraham is killing the cops and Baj Pai is the cop on vacation that now has to come and investigate this. And a game of cat and mouse begins between the two of them. And every time he kills uh, a cop, he calls Baj Pai, John Abraham, and taunts him. Um, And they have exchanges and whatnot. So this this guy we I found a pattern to his his killing, and in, in, in its following, he's doing an acronym, an acrostic acronym, basically. So we know he's going in this district. Who are the cops that begin with this letter, their names? Okay, which one of them are dirty? Okay, we're going to use him as bait, as a goat, at, like hunting a lion. We're going to see. All right, so we see a scene of a corrupt cop. He has a young Indian tied up. He's beating him. And he takes a break because I guess he gets tired of beating this guy all day long. And the mom, who is Muslim, uh, approaches him and says, Free my boy. He didn't do anything. You've had him for 40 days. And he said, Oh, yeah, lady? Well, now let's see if your God can save him because I'm going to go kill him now. How about that? And she rolls her mat out and uh, starts praying to Allah. And lo and behold, here comes um, John Abraham. John Abraham to save the day. And and he saves the day. He thinks he kills that cop. The cop survives. 
and uh, now there's a witness, right? A witness, but he gets around that. He kills the witness. Um, but there's there's one thing that just kind of bothered me a little bit, and this is what bothered me in the film. And it's a very small thing, and I think I'm hypersensitive because I I see it a lot. Why why is it got to be the poor Muslim that's being taken advantage of? Why can't it be a Hindu? You know what I mean? Like it, it just. It felt like it, we just, we took a moment to do a little PC and cater uh, to the Muslim population in India, and then we get back to the story. And it, and it was just like, you know, over and over and over, I see this thread in the movies. You know, let's let's make oh, these terrible Hindus, these terrible Hindus. Look what how they're treating the Muslims. They didn't do nothing, and, and it's like, come on, dude, come on. And I and I don't want to turn this into a political rant, but somebody name me a Hindu terrorist. Somebody. Let's, you know, like, I look at it from the American point of view. When's the last time there's been a Hindu terrorist that has attacked America? <laughs> I, you know, I don't know if you can count some Indian Hindu trolls that start trolling me because they hate my videos. I don't think that's terrorism. I think that's just trolliness. I know there's plenty of Indian trolls, but terrorists? Come on, man. Come on. It's just, it's just, you know, it's like in America right now, it's fashionable for the celebrities uh, to be rude to the white guys. You, and, you know, like, oh, you're white, privileged. You get out of here. Whatever, dude. It was just stupid. Just stupid. Anyways. Back to the movie review. So uh, what we have is this confrontation between John Abraham and, and Baj Pai, and you think it's the killer has broken into the cop's house, and oh, this, oh, no, no. And Baj Pai spins around real quick and pulls his gun and sees him. said, I could have killed we find out they're brothers. What? They're brothers? One brother's killing cops. Another brother is a cop. What the heck happened? Now we have to find out what happened. Something happened. Because you just don't grow up, right? You just don't grow up, uh, you know. We have a friend that sent me some pictures uh, from India, and I believe he's a bank manager, I believe. If he had a brother, he just doesn't one day decide, to go. I'm going to go manage banks. I'm going to go rob them. <laughs> like something's happened something has happened in their lives and then we get the story oh we get the story dude and up to this point the movie was i thought your typical john abraham um john abraham movies are i i would say they're like popcorn films uh here in america you're gonna go you're gonna you're gonna you know popcorn film america you're gonna get your popcorn you're gonna sit down you're gonna zone out. You're gonna watch uh, explosions, uh, fight scenes, and you know. Then you're gonna go and be like, oh, "That was pretty. That was fun. I had a good time." And then you kind of forget about it, right? That's kind of what what his movies are to me. Is there popcorn? You go there, you get a buck, big bucket of popcorn. You watch John Abraham kick somebody's butt, you know, 40, 50 times, and then you know, like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. I love John Abraham. But it's not going to be a movie that changes your life. It's not going to be a movie where you're like, I need to re-examine myself as a human being because I don't, you know, it's not like that. Um, so uh, we find out their dad was a police officer. And, the, and, and we get this flashback scene with the two boys where they're little. And it looked like it was some kind of um, like Halloween where people were dressed up and we saw a little kid. There were two little kids. There's the two little, the two brothers, but they're little. And they're talking to their buddies. One's dressed as Gandhi and the other one's dressed as Bose. And I just thought that was so hilarious to see these little guys dressed up like that. And then one of the brothers is dressed up like Dad. Right? And the other one is not. And they're showing this medal that their dad got. And... Um, they're telling their friends, and they're like, "We want a medal." And the fr you know, the friends say that we want a medal, and they're like, well, "You just can't get a medal, dude. You got to earn this, bro." And he starts trying to recite the pledge that they had to take. And the dad shows up, and he he recites the pledge for them and helps them and reminds them basically, always choose the path of righteousness, always respect the uniform, always do what's right. You must always do these things, right? If you're going to wear this uniform, you have no luxury to t you have to protect the people. Pretty honest, Scott. And then we see the sergeant, the head of the station, show up with a search warrant for him. And he's like, uh, sir, I don't understand what's going on. They find drugs. They find money. They find, oh, no. They strip him of his badges. And he said, I, I, I haven't done anything. I, and he hasn't. He's been set up. But who set him up, right? Somebody set him up. Who set him up? 
And uh, the dad did something, which I thought was uh, terrible, because he has two little kids. He commits suicide. He goes out and burns himself publicly. Like, I've never gotten that when people burn themselves, like set themselves on fire purposely. Uh, It's got to be the most painful death, don't you think so? I mean, that's just got to be, I almost drowned once. And that was just like mentally uh, completely freaky. Like, I'm going to die. I can't breathe. Oh, no, here it comes. Set yourself on fire, dude. That's like conviction. Anyways. And so this is the key event. This is the linchpin that turned the boys, um, that turned the boys, put them on the path of where they're going. And what we find out is um, John Abraham becomes an artist and he's getting famous for his artwork. And, um, you know, Bajpayee became a cop and he's a good cop and he kind of investigates corruption and stuff. So we f- now find the linchpin that has happened. And, um, John Abraham has a uh, an a an event, kind of like a gallery debut of his work, and Baj Fayi starts noticing the faces that he's doing. He's doing these tortured faces, this charcoal tortured faces. He starts realizing it. Oh, it's the cops! It's the cops that died. My brother is the killer, and they have this great exchange. And uh, what we also find out too is John Abraham has a love interest, and he this comes up to big crescendo end and john abraham tells baj Pai, meet me down here uh you know i gotta i you know and bring the the head of the station because he's the one who did this to dad oh what and the girl that john abraham's dating turns out is his daughter what he's got her t- i mean it turns into this whole crazy thing that i wasn't expecting at all i was i was i was surprised by the storytelling aspect of it and uh, this big standoff, and it was, uh, and I'll leave the ending up to you to go see. Um, but it was, it was um, a fun John Abraham film. Again, didn't change my life. I'm not going to say, wow, that w- that, is it Bollywood Top 100? Absolutely not. But it's fun, man. It's a fun movie. Um, it's patriotic. We see them saluting the flag a lot. Uh, you know, we see this idea of the, of the corrupt police. And um, it was a lot of fun to watch on that aspect of it. So I enjoyed the film. Uh, I wouldn't own it, you know. Um, it's 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 fun to watch. It's, this would be a good movie. Now, when I was young, I had these friends, Bob and Eric. The three of us, we were like the only three white kids in an all-black neighborhood. And so we bonded. We became together for our own, literally our own protection. Because we, you know, individually we would get chased home. Uh, because the brothers wanted to to beat us, right? And so we would bond. We went everywhere together just because of out of safety. And uh, we would go see movies like this, right? We'd go see, and then afterwards we'd come up and be like, yeah, yeah, you know. John Abraham's a total movie when a young professor, when he was seventeen, would be like, yeah, let's go, man, let's go, yeah, let's get, let's get the goon dust. Come on, Bob, come on, Eric. <laughs> That's what we would have done. So that reminded me of that. One of my dreams is is to visit India, and I'd like to go into different regions of the movie industry. You know, the Hindi, the sandalwood, you know, the Mollywood, and I want to go to uh, movie theaters. I want to go to movie theaters, and I want to be in the crowd when a big film hits. I bet you that's just craziness, dude. I bet you that's just craziness when it's a good film and it's the debut. I watch some of these videos on YouTube. Where, you know, they'll set up a camera as people are coming out. And they're just losing their minds. Like, oh, it looks like so much fun. So much fun. Oh, India, India, India. How I love thee. How fun you are. Uh, well, anyways, that was my rambling uh, movie review of of uh, the film Truth Alone. Because I cannot pronounce the Indian name. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace and much love. I'm going to be taping videos with Warrior Queen. I know you guys uh, love the Warrior Queen. And and we'll be doing that today. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.